Hello everyone. A very very good morning to all of you. Am I visible and audible? Kindly give me a minute to confirm. If I am clearly visible and audible, I will start the session ahead. Give me a minute to confirm. Uh, if someone from the audience can see me and hear me clearly, you can give me a thumbs up in the chat box. So it will be clear to me that I am clearly visible and audible and I can start the session ahead. I guess yes, I am. So I am. Let me check it once again. Give me a minute. Hello. Yes. So yeah. So I welcome you all for today's session. A very, very refreshing good morning to all of you. So from today, I am starting this live session series. So daily I will come. Daily. From today, daily I will come live at the rate 9 am in the morning and we will study some of the high yielding topic of either patho pharma micro specially for the university exams of second prop mbbs students so i welcome you all for this session i am dr priyanka sachdev here and today we are going to take a very important topic of cardiovascular system the systemic pathology uh, that is rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease believe me it's a very very important topic if you don't believe me, why don't you see the university exam previous year question papers from this topic. So, I will provide you the previous year question papers of your university exams of the past 5 years or 10 years that your seniors may have provided you. So, from this topic per se, we are having 4 long questions. So, long question can be as direct as defined rheumatic fever. Describe it to you, genesis, pathogenesis, pathology, complications, everything. Or it can be an indirect clinical question. So, diagnosis is not given to you, but reading the question, you will come to the conclusion that diagnosis is rheumatic fever. Reading to the clinical question, you will come to the diagnosis that the diagnosis is rheumatic fever. So, reading to the question, the diagnosis. So, indirect clinical question can also come in your exam. So, nowadays, whatever university you are belonging, maybe you are belonging to Jabalpur University, maybe you are belonging to Maharashtra, whatever university you are belonging. So, I have compiled the question of all the important universities throughout the country. I am talking about this India. So, important questions are these only. So, these are the long questions. So, usually I have seen it may be a direct question, rheumatic fever, rheumatic heart disease, describe everything about it. Or it may be an indirect clinical question. So, I will read the question in the end. Let me explain you first the session. In the end, we will have a look on these questions. So, whatever question coming in your exam, it will be, uh, you will be able to solve it. That, that is the long question. Now, have, why don't have you, you have a look on the short questions. So, short questions, usually I don't know the pattern, the marking scheme of your university per se. So, in some university, the short questions may be of 2 marks, maybe of 3 marks, maybe of 5 marks, the short one and the long one, 20 marks, whatever. If it is a short question, now you have to write at least 1 to 2 pages on it, right? Short question. And if it is a long question, you have to write at least 5 pages on it. So, short question, you may see the list of the short questions. What coming? So, important questions will be Jones criteria asked again and again, Ashkoff nodules, rheumatic carditis, pancarditis. So, at the end of the session, you will get my notes and you will have a look on these questions and all these questions are covered in the session. So, you can read the questions in the end. So, let me start the session. So, everyone is here. So, thank you very much, my dear students. So, those who are wishing me happy Teacher's Day, thank you very much. I wish you a great success in your career as well as personal life and my blessings are always with you. God bless you. Stay blessed. And uh, just, you know, shine with good marks and that is the only proud moment for me. Once you good, get good marks in your university exams, in your competitive exams, it's, you know, it's a very happy moment for a teacher. So, make me proud of you with that moment. So, that is the only gift I am asking to you. So, attend the sessions properly, study properly, work hard, work smart and get good marks in all the exams of your life. So, that is the only wish I can do. Anyways, let me proceed. So, let me start the session. Okay. So, we know heart have four chambers. We can see the four chambers, two auricles, two ventricles. In the heart, we are having two walls. Can you see the two walls? The mitral wall and the tricuspid wall. We are having two arteries and two veins. The red are the arteries, the blue are the veins. You already know which artery, which vein from which chamber. You already know the complete circle. You know the right side impure blood, the left side pure blood. You know everything I guess. Okay, that is the general. Now in the heart there are three layers. There are three layers. Can you tell me the three layers of the heart? Endocardium, myocardium, pericardium. The innermost is the endocardium which is shown by red color. The middle one is the myocardium which is shown by black color and the outermost is the pericardium which is shown by blue color. Give me a thumbs up on this point. So, these are the three layers. You can see the three layers. I have labeled the three layers for you. I guess you all can see. Now, tell me one point. I am asking you this question. Can you tell me, can you tell me the composition of the heart walls? I am talking about walls. Walls mean which layer is it? 
the balls contain endo or myo or peri or all i am asking you this is a question for you heart balls are made up of what which layer the complete heart have three layers i agree the complete heart ball have three layers you can see but i am asking you what is the ball the composition of the ball do you know anyone mukul yana prayanshi ekta stuti medico anyone so yes yes priyanshi absolutely right it is endocardium so the balls have only endocardium not myocardium not pericardium so we divide the endocardium into two parts the endocardium which is present on the balls see the endocardium which is present on the balls is known as valvular endocardium and the endocardium which is present on rest of the heart except balls the rest of the three dimensional heart it is known as mural endocardium so can i say endocardium is of two type the valvular and the mural first understand this term myocardium pericardium no further type give me a thumbs up on these points right shall i proceed ahead shall i proceed so with this knowledge we can start our topic the rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease now listen my dear students listen do you know the difference between rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease now in your exam whatever rheumatic is coming now you write the same answer no both of them are not same please understand rheumatic fever is the umbrella term it includes five diseases 1 2 3 4 5 one of them is rheumatic heart disease so if in your exam rheumatic fever is asked you have to write the five diseases but in your exam if rheumatic heart disease is asked you have to write that one only not the other four so please understand now in your exam the examiner are very smart they are asking you specific question you have to write the specific answer right so let me first teach you what is rheumatic fever rheumatic heart disease is a part of rheumatic fever so what is rheumatic fever now if long question the five mark question long question coming in your university exam on rheumatic fever now you have to write your answer in these headings your answer should be in headings you know headings should have subheadings and subheadings ke niche flow charts and diagram first of all write the definition and introduction then tell me the etiology then tell me the pathogenesis then write about the jones criteria then tell me what is the revision in the jones criteria these are important for viva also you all may be having specimen of this heart in your uh, museum you all may be having i'm damn sure every college have museum specimen on the vegetations of the heart you may be having this so viva speak any time it can go theek hai the second thing describe all the five things under that these are the headings let me start now i am going to tell you a beautiful story a beautiful story listen to the story so can you see this is a child a beautiful diagram of a child why i am saying it is a child because rheumatic fever is a disease of child not adults the child age is 3 to 5 years imagine this is a child i have drawn a rough diagram these are the tonsils of the child i guess everyone can see the tonsils of the child right inside the tonsils of the child the child have infection the tonsillitis pharyngitis by a bacteria the name of the bacteria is gas group a streptococcus gas learn as gas group a beta streptococcus bacteria this is the infection tonsillitis caused to the child by this bacteria so you will say what will happen it's very common the child have tonsillitis we all have tonsillitis when we were kids right so it is very common in child so what will happen uh body will form antibodies against the bacteria these are the antibodies against the bacteria the humoral immunity will come in role and these antibodies will bind with the bacteria antigen antibody complexes will be formed and the bacteria will be killed you will say it's very easy what is the problem that rheumatic fever kahan se aaya role mein listen the problem is that the antigen present on the surface of the bacteria the name of that antigen is m protein this bacteria the gas bacteria group a beta streptococcus bacteria have a antigen on its surface the name of the antigen epitope is known as m protein the similar antigen is present on five organs of human body the five organs of human body the similar antigen usse milta julta mimicking mimicking antigen you can say right so basically these antibodies will get confused they are actually formed against the bacteria but they will think that this is also bacteria because they have same antigen m protein as it of bacteria so these antibodies will bind with these five organs and cause damage to these five organs cause five diseases in the five organs give me a thumbs up you got my point so see i have drawn beautiful diagram can you see antigen antibody reactions in the five organs in the five organs name the five organs which five organs two vital heart and brain heart and brain i learn like this number one heart number two brain so now do to ye ho gaya uske alawa skin the third is the skin just below the skin heart ho gaya brain ho gaya skin just below the skin we have subcutaneous tissue and just below the subcutaneous tissue we have joints so can you name the five organs say like this heart brain skin subcutaneous tissue and joints now you will never forget so these five organs have five diseases 
Now please mind my words. Mind my words that these five diseases is not caused by bacteria. Bichari bacteria ne kuch nahi kiya. Wo to gaya. Thik hai. Wo to kill ho gaya. Bacteria is not causing the diseases. The five diseases. The five diseases are caused by the antibodies. You know the human own antibody. So can we say these are auto antibodies? These are killing. These are binding with own antigen due to the mimicry. Due to the mimicry. So these are it is an autoimmune disease, right? So the five organs have five diseases. So can you name the five diseases? In the heart we have rheumatic heart disease. In the heart we have rheumatic heart disease. In the brain we have chorea, Sandan's chorea, Sandan's chorea. In the skin we have erythema marginatum. Red red lesions are there. Erythema marginatum. In the subcutaneous tissue we have subcutaneous nodules, small small nodules. And in the joints, the child have arthritis, inflammation of the joint. Inflammation of the joint, what do they say? Arthritis. It is in multiple joints, that's why polyarthritis. And it is migratory in nature. So the complete name is migratory polyarthritis. So the five organs with the five diseases, the complete five diseases together known as rheumatic fever. Now can you define rheumatic fever for me? I guess everyone got Priyanshi, Kuldeep, Trisha, Mukul, Yana, all the students. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone. Everyone means everyone. Jitne audience, so thumbs up. Pada pad do. You got the pathogenesis. What is rheumatic fever? Can you define it for me in your exam? So can I say it is a multi-system disease? Yes, it is involving five, five uh, different organs. It is always post-tractococcal. The gas bacteria. Binaus ki nahi hoga. Pehle infection throat. Uh, the, the, the child will come to you. You are a pediatrician. The child will come with the parents. They will say the child has sore throat. And after 2-3 to three weeks, the child has these 5 diseases. That is rheumatic fever. You got my point. It is non-superative because bacteria is not causing it. It is caused by the autoantibodies. It is an inflammatory disease involving the 5 cell systems. So can I say it is an immunologically mediated system disease? Yes, because it is caused by autoantibodies. It is caused by gas bacteria. So this is the definition. Don't learn the definition. Don't mug it up, I mean. Just understand the concept. If you understand the concept, now describe in your own words. You will get the marks in your university exam if you are describing it correctly in your own beautiful words. Right? Now coming on the pathogenesis, as I have already told you, it is an autoimmune disease. Again, mind my words. Apne kaan khol ke mere words ko suno. It is not caused by bacteria. Main dobara repeat karti hu. It is not caused by bacteria. Ye line likhni hai in exam. You have to highlight this line. Right? It is a negative finding, important negative finding. So this is a child. The child have group A beta streptococcus, gas bacteria pharyngitis. After that, antibodies are formed. The antibodies are auto antibodies which are doing cross reaction with the five organs. Right? The five organs are in front of you. In each organ, one one disease. So one organ, one disease. One organ, one disease. The five organs, the five diseases together known as rheumatic fever. Can I say this theory, the complete theory, the complete flowchart? It's why it's now get there. It's hypothesis. Ko. What is the name of this hypothesis? The name is molecular mimicry and cross reactivity. Kitna catchy naam hai na? It is given in Robbins. Okay. So what? So it's very easy to understand. Molecular mimicry. Mimicry ka matlab kya hota hai? Nakal utarna. To kon kiski nakal utar raha hai? The the antigen present on the bacteria. The same antigen is present on the five organs. So the five organs are doing mimicry of the bacteria or you can say bacteria is doing mimicry of the five organ antigen. So it is known as molecular mimicry and because of this molecular mimicry the antibodies got confused and they are cross reacting. Cross reaction means actually they are formed for bacteria but they are reacting with these also. So molecular mimicry and cross reactivity is the name given to this hypothesis. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Use this terms. Jitna meri PPT mein red or blue hai na, you have to use that terms in your uh, university exam. So coming on Jones criteria, Jones is a scientist who has discovered all this. Take care, the great scientist. He has given five major and five minor criteria to, uh, you know, diagnose rheumatic fever. So the five major criteria are the five diseases in the five organ I have already told you. So the five major criteria, what are the five major criteria who will tell me? In the heart, it is rheumatic heart disease. In the brain, it's Sandan's chorea. In the skin, it's erythema marginatum. In the subcutaneous tissue, it's subcutaneous nodules. And in the joints, it is arthritis, inflammation of the joint. And multiple joints are involved. That's why polyarthritis and migratory polyarthritis. So these five diseases in five organs are the five major criteria. Okay, we got it. So you can see the five, one, two, three, four, five. Five major criteria. Right, right. Now, so the same you can see. Can you see in this diagram the tonsils of child? Inside the tonsil, can you appreciate the pus? The pus is caused by the bacteria. 
passes known as suppuration. It is caused by bacteria, the gas bacteria. And after having tonsillitis, the child have these things, the five major criteria. So the same five criteria, polyarthritis, pancarditis, nodules, erythema marginatum, and dyscoria. So these are the five criteria, right? Now what are the minor criteria? Who will help me with the minor? So we are having five minor also. So whenever the child have tonsillitis, can you see your tonsillitis? It is a pus wala infection, no? So uh, the child have fever also at that time. With the tonsillitis, we always have fever if it is bacterial. So the child have fever. But fever is the minor criteria. Fever is not major, it is minor. Number two, number two, it's arthralgia. Please mind my words. Joints me do cheese ho rahi hai. The inflammation in the joint and pain in the joint. Child ko do cheese hai. The child is having two things in the joints, inflammation and pain. Inflammation in the joint is known as arthritis. I, uh, arthritis. Arthritis. Itis. It's itis is inflammation. And pain is known as arthralgia. Algia means known as pain. So this one is major and this one is minor. No one will tell you such a minute uh, details. These minute details university is not so much in the But MCQs of your competitive exam, both MCQs and is confusing uh, concept. You got my point? You got my point? So shall I proceed? What Aditya is asking ma'am, how the antibodies are acting against its own body? Uh, so Adik here, as I have told you, these are the auto antibodies. Uh, actually, on the uh, antibodies are formed against some antigen. In the antigens, we have specific molecules which are known as epitopes. So as I have told you, the name of the epitope is M protein. Jo gas bacteria hai na, this is the diagram of gas bacteria. This is the nucleus of the bacteria. It is group A beta streptococcus bacteria. On the surface of the bacteria, there is an M protein. So antibodies actually form against this M protein. But five of the human organs, I have told you which five organs. These five organs also have M protein. Also have M protein like the bacteria. So actually antibodies formed against this, but it is cross-reacting against this. It got confused that it is thinking it is also bacteria. This theory is known as molecular mimicry and cross-reactivity. I guess you got it, Adikya. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. So I was teaching you the minor criteria. The first minor criteria is fever. The second minor criteria is arthralgia. That is pain, not inflammation. The third minor criteria is previous history of rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever occurs recurrently. So previous history is a minor criteria. The fourth is three things in the blood are raised. If you check the blood of the child, three things will be raised. Number one, ESR will be more. Number two, CRP, C-reactive protein will be more. And number three, WBC count will be raised. It is an infection, no? Because of bacteria, we have increased WBC count. So leukocytosis, C-reactive protein and ESR. These three are one of the minor criteria. And in, in the five major criteria, one of them is heart. Whenever heart is involved, there are changes in ECG. ECG. So whenever you do ECG of the child, in the ECG you have PQRST. It is prolonged PR interval. So these are the five minor criteria. I will help you in revising five major, five minor. Don't worry. Please understand first. So these are the five major. These are the five minor. I will help you in revising. Wait a while. Let me teach you revise Jones criteria. Then we will revise everything. Okay. So this was the Jones criteria. Or kafi saalon tak hi chalta raha. Jones criteria. Then what happened now? One day one person challenged Jones. Ab kya hua? You are a pediatrician. Imagine you are a pediatrician. And a child is coming to your clinic with the parents, with the mother. And the mother is saying, Doctor, my child have few of these symptoms. The carditis, multi-system involvement is there. Few of these also. Right? So you will ask the mother, ask the parent, does your child have tonsillitis few days back, all these few days all uh, all these few days back if the mother is saying yes my child also have tonsillitis two three weeks back two three after ten fifteen days pehle throat pain tha the child was having throat pain or ab ye sab kuch ho raha hai so the diagnosis is crystal clear yes it's rheumatic fever because it is fitting after the streptococcal infection the child is having all these scenario right but if the mother is saying no my child don't have throat pain and without throat pain can you say if major and minor both are present but throat pain is not there so can you say it is rheumatic fever no we cannot say so these criteria are incomplete these criteria if this no these criteria major minor sab kuch hai but streptococcal infection hi nahi hai so this major and minor cannot prove that it is a rheumatic fever so revision came so we have revised the jones criteria in the revised jones criteria we have three things the major the minor the same five major, no change. 
minor may one of them is removed we are having only four now which one is removed i will tell you so we are having four minor but we have included the third criteria the third criteria is gas infection should be proven major or minor ke sath gas ka infection hoga tabhi hum kahenge rheumatic fever hai agar major bhi hai minor bhi hai lekin wo de novo hai bina gas infection tonsillitis hai to we cannot we cannot claim that it is rheumatic fever samjha kya baat you got it yes or no so it is the thing it is the thing you got it shall i proceed so gas criteria are added in the revised zone criteria jo 2016 mein revised hue hain aur uske baad se ab tak same hai usse pehle we used zones criteria so the major are same right the five major are same i am not revising the same minor mein se one of them is removed that recurrent history of rheumatic fever fever is there arthralgia is there the three things in the blood are raised it is there and uh pr interval is increased on ecg it is there but recurrent history of rheumatic fever is removed so we are having four minor or gas kaise prove karoge sometimes what happened now the child have subclinical throat infection usko pain nahi hota hai so the child do not come to know i am having throat pain without throat pain seedhe ye symptoms aate hain the the throat infection is subclinical it is asymptomatic you can say so how you will prove usko pain to nahi ho raha the child don't have throat pain so how you will prove you can do a throat swab like in covid we are doing the throat swab now so do a throat swab and do the culture do the culture if it is proven you can do it right or take the blood of the child in the blood of the child check for auto antibodies the two type of auto antibodies anti streptolysin o antibody it is known as asot titer or anti dna antibody so one of the gas criteria in teeno mein se jo bhi prove ho gaya usse prove hoga ki child ko in sabse pehle throat infection tha gas bacteria se these are known as gas criteria so can you help me revising Anyone among you in revised zone criteria? Anyone of you? Aditya, Dopamin, anyone? Osama, Yana, Priyanshi, Mukul, Stuti, Ekta. Who will help me? Please help me. Uh, so the zone criteria: major, minor, and gas. So tell me five major. One, two, three, four, five. Tell me minor. The four minor. One, two, three, four. And tell me the gas criteria. One, two, three. So can I say five, four, three? Who will help me with five, four, and three? So the five major in the heart. It's rheumatic heart disease or pancreatitis. In the brain, it's Sinan's chorea. ठीक है. In the joints, it's polyarthritis. Polyarthritis, migratory polyarthritis. In the skin, it's erythema marginatum. And in the subcutaneous tissue, it's subcutaneous nodules. In the minor criteria, we are having only four. Which four? Can you help me with the four minor? It's fever. It's fever. It's arthralgia, not arthritis. It's arthralgia, not arthritis. Right. And the third one, it's increased three things in the blood: increased ESR, increased CRP, and increased WBC, and increased PR interval on the ECG. So that's it, right? In the gas criteria, again we are having three. Number one, do a throat swab and prove it. Throat swab करलो and culture it. Or see two antibodies: anti ASO antibodies, that is anti streptolysin O, या फिर anti DNA antibody. दोनों में से जो भी prove करो. I want thumbs up from all of you, everyone, each and every person. Give me a thumbs up to indicate that the Jones criteria, the revised Jones criteria, fitted in your mind. It's the patent question of the examiner in your viva. What is the difference between Jones and revised Jones? Revision क्या हुआ? 2016 में जो revision हुआ वो क्या हुआ? What is the revision? So you should tell the gas criteria are added. Otherwise, major, minor are almost same. Give me a thumbs up. That is the revision. That is your patent question of the viva. If you are a second prof student. So, अब मुझे एक बात बताओ. ठीक है. We are having five major. We are having four minor. And we are having three guess. ठीक है. In में से कितने? How many? How many are present in one child? So that you can make the diagnosis that the child is having rheumatic fever and you straight forward start the treatment. How many? No, it is not the all five should be present here. All four. No, it is not the case. How many? So listen, my words. If at least two major minimum. टू मेजर आर प्रेजेंट ना नो नीड टू सी माइनर माइनर है या नहीं है डजेंट मैटर इफ एट लीस्ट टू मेजर एट लीस्ट टू और मोर देन टू टू थ्री फोर फाइव एट लीस्ट टू मेजर आर प्रेजेंट नो नीड टू लुक फॉर माइनर इफ टू मेजर आर प्रेजेंट डायरेक्टली लुक फॉर गैस क्राइटेरिया वन ऑफ द गैस क्राइटेरिया इज प्रेजेंट एनी वन ऑफ द गैस डायग्नोसिस इज प्रूवन इफ टू ऑफ द मेजर आर प्रेजेंट बट वॉट इफ यू विल सी मैम आउट ऑफ द फाइव ओनली वन मेजर इज प्रेजेंट ओनली वन मेजर इज प्रेजेंट सो यू हैव टू लुक फॉर द माइनर ऑल्सो सो विथ वन मेजर एट लीस्ट शुड इट शुड हैव टू माइनर Along with one gas, you got my point. So there are two possibilities: either two major or one major, one major plus two minor. You 
Butter point. But with both of them, guess should be present. Here also at least one guess criteria. Here also at least one guess criteria. At least one. I am using the word at least. Usse zada hoga to achcha hi hai. So this is how you can make the diagnosis. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, Osama, absolutely right. Give me a thumbs up. So the same thing is written in front of you. So either two major or one major plus two minor. But in both the scenario, you should have at least one guess. At least one guess. So that is all about it. I would like to ask few questions based on that. Uske baad aage badenge. Rheumatic fever ka overview ho gaya. Ab main rheumatic heart disease shuru karungi. One of the rheumatic fever ka major criteria. Right. So hum aaj ek major karengi. Rheumatic heart disease out of the five. Thik hai. So the first question is in front of you. Write the answer in the chat box. I want to see who is first and I want to see who is accurate. ठीक है, what is the mechanism of rheumatic fever? Who will tell me the answer? Is it cross reactivity with one of the endogenous antigen? Is it innocence by slander effect? Is it toxin secreted by the bacteria? Is it release of cytokines? What is the answer? So Stuti, very good, you are the first and accurate to answer. Apart from which Osama, uh, Padma, Bhati, Abhika, everyone is right now. So the correct answer is here A. It's molecular mimicry and cross reactivity. We have already discussed, I guess. ठीक है, so the answer is A. This is the next question. Who will answer? The next question is in front of you. Which of the following is not a major criteria? Now, please, not a major criteria I am asking. Not a major criteria. You know the five major criteria. Which of the following is not a major criteria? The options are carditis, subcutaneous nodules, increased ASO, ASO titer, and arthritis. Arthritis. So, very good. Abhikya is first one. No. Stuti, again, the first one to answer. And all the students. Osama, it's not D. No. Arthritis is major. Arthralgia is minor. So arthritis is major. Hai na. Carditis bhi hai. Subcutaneous nodules bhi hai. Arthritis bhi hai. But increased. ASO is a gas criteria. Neither major nor minor. It is a gas criteria. So I will go with C. And you all are right. It's C. You got it Osama? The correct answer is C. Thik hai? Chalo. Koi baat nahi. Uh, do mistakes here. Jitni mistakes karni hai na yaan pe karlo. Exam mein mat karna. Thik hai? Jitni karni hai yaan karo. Yaan karo ki to achcha hai. Yaan rahe ki wo mistake tumhe. Anyways, chal. The next question. Which of the following is not included in major criteria? The same question. Which of the following is not a major criteria? The four options are in front of you. Which of the following is not a major criteria? Yeah. So pancarditis, chorea, subcutaneous. Pancarditis is rheumatic heart disease only. Don't get confused. And high ESR. So what is the answer? Yes. Yes. You all are right. It's high ESR. It's high ESR because high ESR, again, it's minor criteria. One of the minor. Right, one of the minor. Pancarditis, I got uh, Priyanshi, you got confused. Pancarditis is the other name given to rheumatic heart disease. So don't get confused. I will teach you this. So the correct answer is D and you all are right. Yes, yes, very good. You all are right. So that this is the next question in front of you. Now don't get confused. All of the following are major except. Same question with different options. Question abhi bhi same hai. Which of the following is not a major? Read the four options very carefully. Migratory polyarthritis, subcutaneous nodules, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Migratory polyarthralgia, subcutaneous nodules, chorea, carditis. So what you will say? What you will say? Yes. So the correct answer here is A. Mind the word arthralgia. Zara sa change ho gaya. Arthritis nahi hai ye. Agar it was arthritis, it was major. But arthralgia is minor. I have told you chilla chilla ki mahi bataya hai. Thik hai, chorea, syndrome, chorea only. Don't go with C. Uh, Padmavati, I, got, I guess you got confused. So you know, chorea is syndrome, chorea. Korea to syndams Korea ka hi dousra naam hai na, uska syndams hata ke sir Korea likha hai. So it is a major criteria, don't get confused. So the correct answer here is A. So you can see these all are PYQs I have taken from various competitive exams, NEET, PG, FMG. I know you all are second prof students, most of you. I know tumhye university ki zara chinta hai, lekin aage chal ke competitive exam bhi to dena hai na. So dono ki tayari simultaneous karo. University ki questions bhi karenge, competitive ki questions bhi karenge. So kari rahe to hum eki baar mein pura karenge, thik hai? So okay, the correct answer here is A. Aage padhte hai. So let me start one of the major. So today out of the five major, I will teach you one. One in detail, the most important, rheumatic heart disease. Now mind in your exam, if rheumatic fever is coming, you have to write all five. If rheumatic heart disease is coming, you have to write only this one. Right? So mind, question dhyan se padna hai. Bacho ko kuch nahi samajda. Rheumatic hai, jo aata hai, likh do. Aray, rheumatic fever hai ki rheumatic heart disease hai, dekho to sahi andar kya pucha hai. Rheumatic fever pucha hai, to paancho likhna hai na. Or heart disease pucha hai, to sahi heart se concise raho. Phir paancho likhne ki zarurat nahi hai. जो पूछा है मार्क्स उसी के मिलते हैं टू बी वेरी फ्रैंक इन योर यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम लेट मी स्टार्ट रोमैटिक हार्ट डिजीज तो हार्ट में क्या प्रॉब्लम हो रही है ऑल द्री लेयर्स ऑफ द हार्ट आर इन्वॉल्व सो हार्ट है थ्री लेयर्स एंडोकार्डियम मायोकार्डियम पैरिकार्डियम सो ऑल थ्री लेयर्स आर इन्वॉल्व एंडोकार्डाइटिस मायोकार्डाइटिस एंड पैरिकार्डाइटिस सो बेसिकली इट इज नोन एज पेन कार्डाइटिस पेन का मतलब होता है ऑल ऑल द्री लेयर्स आर इन्वॉल्व सो इन द हार्ट वी हैव 
पैनकार्डाइटिस कैन आई से पैनकार्डाइटिस वर्ड यस पैन का मतलब होता है ऑल एंडो मायो पेरी तीनों लेयर इन्वॉल्व हो गई हार्ट में अच्छा द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट आई गॉट इट यू यू गॉट इट यस द एंडो द मायो द पेरी ये जो तीनों लेयर है ऑल ऑफ देम आर इन्वॉल्व I will teach you how they are involved. You can see endocardium, the walls are involved. Myocardium is involved. Pericardium is involved, and everything is happening after the throat pain. Throat pain ke baad ye sab kuch ho raha hai. So it is rheumatic heart disease. Okay, I will give you the details. All the no, this is going to be our master diagram, the stroke stroke di diagram, in which I will show you what will happen in endocardium. I will draw here. What will happen in myocardium? I will draw here. And what will happen in pericardium? I will draw. I will draw everything in this diagram. At the end, this will be our master diagram. ठीक है. So this is the summary. अब समरी धीरे धीरे समझना एंडो में क्या क्या होगा मैं ड्रॉ भी करूंगी समझाऊंगी भी मायो में क्या क्या होगा आई विल ड्रॉ भी करूंगी समझाऊंगी भी और पैरी में भी सेम थिंग वी विल ड्रॉ एज वेल एज एक्सप्लेन ठीक है तो दैट इज नोन एज पेन कार्डाइटिस द नेक्स्ट थिंग ये सब कर कौन रहा है थ्री इयर्स आर इन्वॉल्व बाय होम किस कौन कर रहा है इट इज नॉट कॉज बाय बैक्टीरिया फिर से रिवाइज करा रही हूँ बैक्टीरिया नहीं कर रहा है ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज आर कमिंग बाइंडिंग विद एंडोकार्डियम बाइंडिंग विद मायोकार्डियम बाइंडिंग विद पैरिकार्डियम बिकॉज ऑफ मॉलिकुलर मेमिक्री एंड एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी रिएक्शन ड्यू टू ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज द्री थिंग्स आर देयर एंडोकार्डाइटिस मायोकार्डाइटिस पैरिकार्डाइटिस एवरीथिंग इज ड्यू टू ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज नॉट बाय बैक्टीरिया राइट आई गेस यू गॉट इट चलो एंडोकार्डियम इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स मैंने बताया था एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द लेक्चर एंडोकार्डियम जो वॉल पे है इट इज वॉल्यूलर एंडोकार्डियम और जो रेस्ट ऑफ द हार्ट पे है इट इज म्यूरल एंडोकार्डियम ठीक है तो एंडोकार्डियम को हम दो पोर्शन में डिवाइड करते हैं लेट मी फर्स्ट टीच यू वॉल्यूलर एंडोकार्डाइटिस तो वॉल्स पे क्या होगा सी आई हैव ड्रॉन इन द डायग्राम डायग्राम में समझो यू विल नेवर फॉरगेट सी द टू वॉल्स आई हैव ड्रॉन स्मॉल स्मॉल नोड्यूल्स ऑन द वॉल्स nodules these nodules are known as vegetations theek hai the nodules on the heart walls are known as vegetations vegetations are also known as verruche vegetations or verruche one and the same thing the nodules over the walls kisne banaye ye nodules again antibody ne bacteria ne nahi so these nodules are sterile these nodules are sterile you have to use these words they are sterile they don't have bacteria inside them bacteria yahan tak pahuncha hi nahi hai antibodies ne aake ye banaye hain so describe the inke bare mein sab kuch batao so walls pe hame mil rahe hain vegetations vegetations are very okay so describe them they are small yes they are multiple yes they are very soft firm and sterile so describe them so the, the vegetations are formed in four diseases one of them is rheumatic heart disease which i am teaching today the rest of the diseases i will teach in further my lectures so apart from rheumatic heart disease the vegetations are seen in infective endocarditis uh, non bacterial thrombotic endocarditis nbte and lisman sac endocarditis which is seen in sle we will study all these it is your syllabus only theek hai in charon mein vegetations hote hain rheumatic heart disease is one of them but compare the vegetations of rheumatic heart disease with others isme smallest hote hain that's why i have put this diagram the diagram out from robbins only so this is the smallest one ye sabse chote hain multiple hain they are firm they are soft and they are sterile in ke andar bacteria nahi hai right others i will not teach today but some other day we will continue see these are the real diagrams again the diagrams from robel c these are the vegetations i am talking about you can see this is called our tent uh, uh, what you say uh, the uh, the balls the portion of the heart walls you can see it is the mitral wall leaflet theek hai so which walls are involved kaun si wall pe hote hain heart mein kitni balls hoti hain how many heart balls are there there are four walls so this is the left side this is the right side and uh, these are the things you can see here we have mitral wall here we have aortic wall so mitral aortic on the left side here we had tricuspid wall here we have pulmonary wall so tricuspid and pulmonary on the right side so what is the mnemonic how they are involved the mnemonic is matap m a t p never forget it's very important mcq also most common wall involved is mitral second most common aortic so left side are more involved as compared to right so mitral followed by aortic followed by tricuspid and followed by pulmonary pulmonary is least common involved you can thumbs up on this yes got it and then you sama thank you so that is the heart walls involved heart walls so can you tell me the most common answer is matap now mitral second most common answer is aortic the least common answer is pulmonary okay i agree ki mitral wall involved hua to mitral wall involved most common hua to mitral wall involved hone ki wajah se do possibilities hain stenosis hoga ki regurgitation hoga दोनों हो सकते हैं बट मोर कॉमन रिगर्जिटेशन होगा दोनों हो सकते हैं लेकिन ज्यादा कॉमन रिगर्जिटेशन के चांसेस हैं, राइट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज रियली वेरी डिफिकल्ट आई गेस ओनली 50% ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ द वेजिटेशन ऑन द वॉल अंडरस्टैंड हां आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट बट ओनली वंस आई विल नॉट रिपीट इट आह ओके लेट मी ड्रॉ द मिट्रल वॉल सो दिस इज द टू लीफलेट्स ऑफ द मिट्रल वॉल मिट्रल वॉल हैव टू लीफलेट्स वी नो दैट नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज ऑरिकल 
left auricle and this is left ventricle we can understand imagine my two hands are my two leaflets let me see can you see my hands yeah you can see my hands these are the two leaflets when the two leaflets open blood from the auricle comes in the ventricle and they close they open they close they open they close blood is coming from the auricle and ventricle now the the, the ball have upper surface which is towards the atria lower surface which is towards the ventricle and the junction junction that is known as line of closure the junction is known as line of closure give me a thumbs up if you got it give me a thumbs up now my question to you vegetations are formed on these leaflets but we are upper surface lower surface ki junction you have three options kaha banenge or all of them kaha banenge vegetation tell me the location the location upper no lower no it is at the junction so the vegetations are formed at the junction chalo give me a thumbs up yahan banenge dekho maine draw kiye tumhare liye I have draw the small small vegetations for you. I am drawing here. So they are formed at the junction. Can you see beautiful vegetations on the junction? See here. It is not on upper, not on lower. It's at the junction. Can you see? I guess you can. Give me a thumbs up. So the the same thing is written here. So the vegetations are formed along the line of the closure that is at the junction. And due to the formation of the vegetation, there is a deformity. The name of the deformity is fish mouth or button hole. What do you mean by fish mouth? Can you see? This is the bicuspid ball. Appreciate this is one of the cusp. This is another cusp, and appreciate at the junction. These are the vegetations at the junction, the line of the closure, because of which this bicuspid ball is looking like a fish mouth. Have you seen a fish mouth, a pouting fish mouth? Beautiful, Anna. Right? So it is looking like a fish mouth, or you can say it is looking like button hole. The same is shown here. So looking like a fish mouth or button hole. The name of the deformity. These all you have to write in your exam. ठीक है? So what we have learned, what we have learned, we have finished this portion. Valvular endocarditis में vegetation है इतना लिखना काफी नहीं है Describe करो vegetation के बारे में सब कुछ बताओ क्या क्या पता है मुझे क्या क्या पता है मैं बताती हूँ So in the valvular endocardium we have vegetations which are small, which are multiple, which are sterile and bland, which are soft and firm. ये तो gross हुआ ठीक है उसके बाद which wall the pneumonic is मटक ठीक है उसके बाद mitral wall में क्या करेगा regurgitation की stenosis दोनों but regurgitation is more common. Okay. Tell me the location on the wall. The location on the wall is the junction or the line of closure. Whatever you say, एक ही बात है. और उसकी वजह से deformity क्या होगी? The name of the deformity is fish mouth or button hole. Or button hole. ये सब आपको लिखना है vegetation के description में and you have to draw the diagram. Give me a thumbs up. That's all about vegetation. तो so, valvular endocardium हो गया तो mural endocardium पे आ जाओ. Mural endocardium is rest of the endocardium. The mural endocardium is rest of the endocardium. उसमें बनेगा macellum patch. What do you mean by macellum patch? You can see the red color. The red color is the mural endocardium. That is the rest of the heart. So, pure heart, no. Only a small portion of the endocardium will get wrinkled. It will get wrinkled. Wrinkled patch will become. A wrinkling will happen there. You know what I am talking? I am talking about, about a three-dimensional image. Imagine a three-dimensional image of the heart. The innermost layer is the endocardium. So, complete endocardium is not involved. Only the endocardium of the left auricle. Out of the four chambers, only one chamber के endocardium में involved होगी, left auricle. Left auricle में भी anterior की, posterior की, medial की, lateral. कौन सी endocardium? It is a three-dimensional ना, so posterior side. Left auricle के posterior endocardium में just above the mitral wall एक wrinkled patch बन जाएगा, due to antigen, antibody reaction, auto antibodies. और उस patch को कहते हैं macellum patch. You have to learn the location. So what is macellum patch? It is a thickened, roughened, wrinkled patch, which is formed again not by bacteria, by auto antibodies. Where it is? What is the location? The exact location is in left auricle. The posterior surface of the left auricle just above the mitral wall. So that is the location. Location कभी मत भूलना इसकी. So see in this diagram both things are shown. This is macellum patch. You can see in the left auricle. And these are the vegetations in the mitral wall, in the tricuspid wall. The vegetations are there. So both the things of the endocardium is done. We are done with endocarditis. Right? Congratulations! Out of the three things, we are done one. Endocarditis is done. The valvular also, the mural also. Valvular में vegetation होंगे. Describe everything about vegetation. They are small, multiple, sterile, mud up. They are at the junction. Fish mouth deformity. सब कुछ लिखो. Mac Callum के बारे में सिर्फ एक चीज लिखो उसका location. That's it. और कुछ नहीं लिखना है. चलो आगे बढ़ेंगे. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So coming on myocarditis now. I am coming on what? I am coming on. Myocarditis now. Myocardium is the H is okay. Ashcroft bodies or Ashcroft nodules. Very important. What is Ashcroft body? No, don't concentrate on endocardium. ये दोनों चीजें endocarditis is over. We will revise in the end. The mural endocarditis, macellum patch. The valvular endocarditis vegetation. इतना तो हो गया. अब myocarditis में Ashcroft nodules हैं. Listen, see the myocardium. Here also we have nodules. But these nodules are not known as vegetation like endocardium. These are known as Ashcroft. Ashcroft nodules. You will say, what is the Ashcroft nodule? Ashcroft nodule is a granuloma. 
Have you studied granuloma and general pathology? Chronic inflammation may giant cells hote hain, epithelioid cells hote hain, necrosis hota hai. Typical granuloma pada hai? The same granuloma. These all are small small granuloma. So let me zoom one of the Ashkov nodule in front of you. So these are granulomas. Let me zoom. So here see, I am zooming this one. This one. Isko maine zoom version aapko dikhaya hai. See. So this is the diagram. I will draw it for you rather. So in the center you have necrosis. Which necrosis? General pathology mein maine padhaye hain five type of necrosis. कौन सा नेक्रोसिस है ये कॉइगुलेटरी लिफिफैक्टिव केशियस फिब्रिनोइड एंड फैट सो इट इज फिब्रिनोइड नेक्रोसिस व्हिच नेक्रोसिस फिब्रिनोइड इट इज नॉट केशियस लाइक टीबी ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इन द सेंटर वी हैव फिब्रिनोइड कौन सा है पांचों में से फिब्रिनोइड सराउंडेड बाय फाइव टाइप ऑफ सेल्स आउट ऑफ व्हिच टू आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ सेल्स आर नोन एज एशकॉफ सेल्स व्हिच आर जॉइंट सेल्स हैविंग मल्टीपल न्यूक्लियस दीस आर द जॉइंट सेल्स द रेड वन एशकॉफ सेल्स दीस आर नोन एज एशकॉफ सेल्स ठीक है एशकॉफ सेल्स और जॉइंट सेल्स द सेकंड टाइप ऑफ द सेल्स आर एंटी एशकॉफ सेल्स एंटी एशकॉफ सेल्स एंटी एशकॉफ सेल्स आई एम ड्राइंग विद ब्लू कलर फ्यू ऑफ द एंटी एशकॉफ सेल्स फ्यू ऑफ यू विल सी मैम व्हाट सम टाइम यू आर ड्राइंग अ न्यूक्लियस लाइक अ कैटरपिलर एंड सम टाइम्स यू आर ड्राइंग द न्यूक्लियस लाइक अ आउल तो दीस आर एंटी एशकॉफ सेल्स ऑल ऑफ द ब्लू सेल्स आर एंटी एंटीशकॉफ एंटीशकॉफ यू देख लेना स्पेलिंग क्या है एंटीशकॉफ सेल्स सो यू विल सी मैम व्हाट व्हाट इज द शेप ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस I am saying both shapes are correct. If you see from front, it is caterpillar. If you cut it and look the cross-sectional, it looks like a owl eye. So ullu ki aank. इसे दो appearance होते हैं nucleus के. या तो caterpillar या तो owl eye. सामने से देखोगे तो caterpillar, side में से देखोगे तो owl है. तो some cells are front view, some cells are cross view. Give me a thumbs up. ये दोनों cells anti-Ashkov हैं. तो Ashkov और anti-Ashkov तो हो गए. उसके अलावा तो बहुत easy हैं lymphocytes. We all know what are lymphocytes. These all are lymphocytes. उसके अलावा plasma cells. We all know what are plasma cells. मुझे समझाने की जरूरत नहीं है. So lymphocytes हो गए, plasma cells हो गए. उसके अलावा fibroblast. So count how many cells are there. So this is the diagram of Ashkoff nodule, which is the granuloma. सबका thumbs up चाहिए. बताओ, can you draw it in your exam? Yes. So this is the diagram. Can you see the same diagram given in your books? You can see the central fibrinoid necrosis. Appreciate the red cells. These one, multinucleated. These are Ashkoff. And appreciate the anti H cough. देखो ये दो anti H cough बनाए हैं इन्होंने. This one is caterpillar nucleus and this one is owl eye. Owl eye. हाँ तो दो appearance हैं. Give me a thumbs up why you are not responding. Am I live? Can you see me? Hear me? Give me a thumbs up पटा पट. समझ में आया क्या? So what are the five type of cells? So in the center we have cell fibrinoid necrosis. It is surrounded by five type of cells. H cough, anti H cough, lymphocyte, plasma and fibroblast. Neutrophils are absent. There is no neutrophil in the fibrinoid. Uh, in the Ashkoff uh, body, right? So, what are Ashkoff and anti Ashkoff cells? You don't know, what are they? Actually, both of them are macrophages, they are modified. So, macrophages are modified. Both of them are modified macrophages. One are giant cells, and other, this have multiple nucleus. This have only one nucleus, but one nucleus is either owl eye appearance or caterpillar appearance. I guess you got it. Does anyone have any difficulty in understanding? So, you can see, can you tell me this cell I'm marking for you? Write down in the chat box. Ye kaun sa cell hai? This diagram, this is the diagram of Ashkoff nodule. ये पूरा Ashkoff nodule है. This one is the necrosis. ये center में necrosis है. The red cell कौन सा cell? No one is writing. What is the red cell? Come on, tell me. Padmavati, Radhika, Osama, Mukesh, Tuti. कोई तो बताओ. ये कौन सा cell है? अरे, should I give the clue? मुझे multiple nucleus दिख रही है. I can see the multiple nucleus. अब तो बताओ. हाँ? So Mukesh, you are right. Yes, it is Ashkoff because it is multinucleated, right? और ये दो सेल्स कौन से हैं? I am drawing this one or this one, the blue one. तो either owl eye or caterpillar. So both of these are anti-Ashkoff, right? So Ashkoff and anti-Ashkoff like that you have to identify. Coming on the last pericarditis. Last cheese है pericarditis. We are done with endo. We are done with myo. The last thing is the pericarditis. You know in the heart we have endocardium, myocardium and pericardium. Endocardium. So there is a space between myo and peri. This space is known as pericardial space. Pericardial space. We all know that it is present in all normal human beings, in me, you, everyone. This space contains a small amount of fluid, which is known as pericardial fluid. We all have this fluid, but this fluid is watery in consistency. It is very thin, serous, watery consistency, and it is in very small amount. And it is normal to have this fluid in our hearts. So it is present in the space between myocardium and pericardium, which is known as pericardial space. ये तो सबको पता है, ठीक है? जब person को rheumatic fever हो गया, rheumatic heart disease हो गया, तो this fluid instead of becoming becoming watery, thin watery consistency, it become thready. I am using the word thready. हिंदी में कहूँ तो धागेदार, 
Hindi mein kahu shuddh Hindi mein to it is dhagedar in consistency. So can you see the threads? The threads in pathology is known as fibrinus. The threads in pathology is known as fibrinus. Fibrinus word matlab hota hai threading. So instead of watery it becomes threading. Yes? So give me a thumbs up iska matlab samaj mein aaya to. So instead of watery. So this disease is known as fibrinus pericarditis. So in the pericardium we have fibrinus pericarditis. You will see ma'am. It's very easy to understand. In the, in the pericardium we have in the disease we have fibrinus pericarditis this appearance is known as bread and butter bread butter sandwich khaya hai yes in the breakfast i usually take it and it's very delicious so what is bread and butter appearance yahan pe kaise correlate karenge in a bread butter sandwich we have two bread slices and in the center we have butter of course yes have you ever tried to separate the two slices of bread away from each other in a sandwich if not do it do it when the next time you eat the sandwich so jab bhi separate karne ko try karoge na you can see the threads of the butter you can see the threads the threads of the butter separating from you can imagine at least theek hai the threads of the butter now imagine the child is dead the child is having rheumatic heart disease rheumatic fever and the child is dead and i am doing the post mortem the autopsy of the child so what i will do i will take the heart out the child heart out in a tray i will take i will cut the pericardium and separate it from the myocardium i want to see all three layers so see this is the scissor with the scissor in this diagram the first diagram this is all pericardium i am cutting the pericardium and just below that there is myocardium i am separating so see beautiful diagram everyone see here this is myocardium on this side this is pericardium already separated dono ke beech mein kya dikh raha hai please appreciate karo dekho tumhe dikh raha hai ki nahi image mein mujhe nahi pata lekin beautiful image showing the threads so this is fibrinus pericarditis it is looking like bread butter appearance now why it is known as bread butter this is one slice of bread this is another slice of bread aur dono ke beech mein butter hai so one of the slice is myocardium one of the slice is pericardium aur dono ke beech mein jo butter hum bol rahe hain that is fibrinus pericarditis so we correlate this term with bread and butter so everyone give me a thumbs up no one will explain you these concepts now you will not forget bread and butter appearance kya hota hai theek hai itna detail mein samjhane ki zarurat nahi hai but in the exam just write bread and butter appearance right so give me a thumbs up come on appreciate to karo so done done pancreatitis is done can you tell me the summary yes and the pancreatitis mein do cheeze hain valvular or mural valvular mein vegetation tell me everything about vegetation mural mein macaulay patch uski sirf location bata ke khatam karo myocarditis mein ashcock body उसका कंपोजिशन बता के खत्म करो इट इज अलोमा ड्रॉ करो दाइव टाइप ऑफ सेल्स इन देंटर फिब्रीनोस ड्रॉ करो और पेरिकार्डियम में फिब्रीनस पेरिकार्डिटिस ब्रेड एंड बटर दैट्स इट दैट्स इट इफ यू एक्सप्लेन इट कम्प्लीटली यू विल गेट फुल फाइव मार्क्स इन द लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन सो द ऑल द थिंग्स आर ड्रॉन हियर प्लीज एप्रिशिएट देखो डायग्राम मैंने कितना ब्यूटीफुल बनाया है सी द डायग्राम दीज टू थिंग्स आर इन द एंडो दिस थिंग इज इन द माओ एंड दिस थिंग इन द पेरी एप्रिशिएट माई पैन कार्डाइटिस efforts in this diagram so this heart is showing pancarditis my master diagram and this is the summary give me a thumbs up samajh mein aaya kya we are done with the first first major the remaining four i will cover in some other lectures right so future mein hum connected rahenge pura saal aur remaining four you can read by yourself if you have any doubt you can connect with me theek hai so this one i have super simplified for you which was the most difficult among the five baaki sab chote chote hain not very difficult to understand anyways now let's have a look on the university exam question a 12 year old boy age is always a clue acha 12 saal ka bachcha hai to tumhe click karega koi disease bachchon ki baat kar rahe hain tabhi usne age mention ki hai examiner ne presented with fever ek to fever hai to one of the minor criteria migratory joint pain one of the major nahi joint pain hai again minor criteria and palpitations in the heart heart mein palpitations hai to some valvular disease in the heart theek hai child have a upper respiratory infection 3 weeks back ye sab hone se 3 hafte pehle uh, child ko ye tha uh, ye tha so one of the major and two minor the one major is palpitation which is indicating heart involvement and two minor and guess criteria is given on examination subcutaneous nodules low subcutaneous nodules aur mil gaya to one more major we have got it right on the right aspect of the right elbow on auscultation there is tachycardia and heart sounds are beat theek hai so what is your diagnosis abhi to bahut easy lag raha hai question jab pura patho pad loge na same question will become difficult to bologe mi to nahi hai are bachcho mein mi nahi hota to bologe angina to nahi hai no bachcho mein angina nahi hota bachcho mein kaun kaun si heart diseases hoti hain koi cardiac tumor to nahi hai what are the possibilities it is a typical case of rheumatic heart disease jisme tumhe do ya teen major aur ek do minor diye hue hain 
So describe the morphological features. Tell me the organs involved. Tell me the geopathogenesis. You can tell everything. Once the diagnosis is done, baki jo bhi pooch le, you can tell it. Sab ka thumbs up chahiye. It is a previous exam question in a university exam. Chalo agla question dekh lo. Next question. A 10 year child. Fir se wahi hai. Ha na? 12 saal ka bachcha, 10 saal ka bachcha. Fever. Minor criteria. Sore throat. Guess criteria. Migratory polyarthritis. Major criteria. Subcutaneous nodules. Major. I guess दो major दिए हुए हैं, एक minor दिया है और एक guess दिया है। देख लो तुम भी, वैसा ही लग रहा है क्या? I guess मुझे लगता है। So what is your probable diagnosis? Of course, straightforward, it's rheumatic fever. Idiopathogenesis, target organ, I can describe everything now. ठीक है, एक बार diagnosis बन गया तो हम आगे सब कर सकते हैं। Long question exam में गलत हुआ तो pass होना मुश्किल है। Long answers दोनों रही सही हैं। Short में थोड़े बहुत भी बन गए हैं तो अच्छा pass हो जाओगे। Short सारे बन गए तो distinction आ सकता है, lucky हो तो gold medal भी आ सकता है। ठीक है, तो gold medal course ही launch कर रहे हैं हम। Gold medal तो आएगा। If you are attending my patho pharma micro compete series for second prof, so you are a very vital candidate for getting gold medal in these three subjects. I can guarantee। I got it। I can guarantee yours also। ठीक है। चलो the next question। Eight year old child फिर से वही कहानी। Brought to the clinic by the mother। Mother के साथ आया। ठीक है। Complaining of shifting joint pain। That is migratory joint pain। Swelling over the knee joint। That is arthritis। Arthritis and polyarthritis multiple joints involved in fever that is minor criteria on inquiry the child have attack of sore throat तो ने पूछा दो तीन हफ्ते पहले sore throat था तो मदर saying yes based on this what is the diagnosis of course rheumatic fever enlist the organs involved you know the five organs pathogenesis you know molecular mimicry cross reactivity enlist the causes of the death the cause of the death is usually heart involvement rheumatic heart disease that is the cause of the death. Defined rheumatic fever, direct question भी आ सकता है। Short questions, सारे पढ़ लेना। I am not reading all of them. You can do it. मुझे सब का thumbs up चाहिए। You like my way of teaching? The concept, the university exam questions, the MCQs, दो तीन MCQ भी कर लो। चलो। These are previous year question of NEET PG. ठीक है? ये AIMS का question है कुछ साल पहले। Ten year old by Papu. So take the age. ठीक है? Died of rheumatic fever. On autopsy, which is not found, which is not found on autopsy. Tell me the answer. Priyanshi, Adikya, Radhika, who will tell the answer? Osama is saying B. Very good, Osama. So, Ashcock nodules are seen, McCallum patch is seen, fibrinous pericarditis is seen, but rupture of caudate tendon is not seen. Yes, now you know the features. Anti Ashcock cells are what? What are anti Ashcock cells? Are they modified macrophages, modified neutrophil, modified B cell, modified RBC? I guess everyone knows the answer. Come on, Likhne ki de rahe. Yes, Padmavati. Padmavati. No, Radhika, it's not B, it's A. So the correct answer is these, uh, uh, these are modified macrophages. Anti Ashcock ko Ashcock kar dun to answer kya ban jayega? Ab answer kya hoga? Mukesh Suti ab kya answer hai? Naya answer batao. Abhi bhi answer A hi hai. Ashcock and Anti Ashcock both are modified macrophages. Thik hai? Confuse nahi hona hai. Thik hai? Okay, so you can do. Can tell me the most common ball involved in rheumatic fever. You know the mnemonic? You know the mnemonic? The mnemonic is Mattak. Thik hai? Most common is Mitral. Answer is A. Yes, Osama. Answer is A. Most common ki jaga least common kar dun to. Answer kya ban jayega? Isi question mein. Ab answer kya hai? Least common kar diya to answer kya hai? Haan? Ab answer kya hai? Yes. Ab answer ho jayega aapka. Least common is P. Thik hai? So pulmonary. So in this way there are many questions. I am not solving all but I guarantee you can solve all. So I can share my PDF. So we have done this and these four you can do by yourself. Thik hai? Don't hesitate to ask your doubts on my personal contact number. Consider me as a mentor, as a teacher, right? So consider me and you can ask your doubts directly. Maybe I'm late in replying because of the busy schedule, but as soon as I find the time, I will get back to you. That is for sure. Maybe the same day or maybe after one, two days, but I will get back to you. So that is my contact number. It's 9833032948. You can contact and you can share it with all medicos. Medicos, I mean only MBBS students, with your friends, colleagues, everywhere throughout the globe. So anyone can connect to me, the medical students, and they can ask you their doubts regarding their professional career, regarding their studies and everything, and the doubts, actual doubts in Pathopharma Micro. Tell me your college name, university exam dates, if comfortable to you, I can help you with the planning. Thank you very much. If you like the lecture, don't forget to click on the like button before leaving. Share on your batch groups, please. It's a humble request. These are the free lectures. Of course, everyone should be benefited. So please share on your batch groups that something good is happening somewhere. People are not aware of it. And subscribe the YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon if you want to get notified every day. See you all tomorrow, 9 a.m. again in the morning with the next topic. See you. Bye-bye. Study hard. All the best. And bye-bye. I'm ending the session. Thank you, thank you. Happy Teachers Day. Thank you very much, Kuldeep. And I wish all my dear students a great success in their professional as well as personal life. 
and uh, wishing you the same and uh, that's it all the best i wish you all shine with great results the beautiful results and the top in your exams in your university exams as well as in your competitive exams and be a good doctor before that be a good human being theek hai if you are a good human being obviously you will be a good doctor good practitioner anyways bye bye study hard all the best i'm ending it